Hello everyone. Today we are going to go ahead and talk about constants. So constants are immutable values which are known at compile time and do not change for the life of the program. What that means is there are variables essentially that have a set value that cannot be changed. Okay? As soon as your program begins running, that value is locked in. Now, uh, to go in and see what I mean here, you define a constant by giving the keyword const in front of it, a data type, and then a variable, like my constant. Now, you can't go ahead and unlike other variables, especially global variables that are declared outside of a function, leave a constant without a value. See, a constant field requires a value to be provided. If I go ahead and I set this integer to have a value of 3, I cannot go ahead and say down here, reassign the value. Yeah? The left-hand side of an assignment must be a variable, property, or indexer. Yes, technically speaking, a constant is a variable, but more specifically, it is a constant. Uh, you should see that as superseding a variable. Constants are useful because you can go ahead and assign a value to a variable name, and then you can use that name throughout your code. But say if you ever need to go back and change it, you just have to change it here in one place. Now, the reason you might do that is because you as the developer know that the value may change. You may need to go ahead and reset something later on. You may have an application that deals with um, something like conversion rates and all that, and each day you release a new version of it, something like that. But constants overall are useful because they go ahead and give you a variable that you can use throughout your code with a locked-in value that cannot be changed, and they are immutable. Um, now, something to know is that in C Sharp, built-in types can be constants. User-defined types, such as classes, structs, arrays, they cannot be declared as constants. For those, you have to use the read-only keyword, okay? uh, and, and that'd be read-only. You can go ahead and see here it is a keyword. Uh, for built-in types, though, you use constant. Now, it should also be known that C Sharp does not support constants for methods, properties, or events. You can only have a constant in C Sharp for a built-in base data type. Uh, an example of a constants and where they're more commonly used are enums. Enums are going to be talked about in a future video, uh, but enums go ahead and enable you to define named constants um, with in integral built-in types. Uh, if you're familiar with enums, you will may know what I'm talking about, but otherwise that will be in a future video. Uh, now, as I already showed you, constants have to be initialized as they are declared. I cannot go ahead and uh, declare a constant and not initialize it. I have to go ahead and give it a value at the time that I create it. Uh, now, one advantage to constants is that, uh, like some data types and in some programming languages, if I'm declaring multiple constants that are all of the same data type, I can go ahead and declare them on one line, like this. You know? Or I just put a comma between each one and give it a new variable name. So each of these constants will be an integer, okay? and obviously they'll be a constant. Uh, constants do support the other, various other keywords such as public, private, things like that. Now, some people may be tempted to use the word static in front of a constant. You don't need to use the word static in front of a constant because constants are by their very nature static. Notice down here, I was able to go ahead and call my constant and it didn't throw an error because I was calling it. Um, I just didn't know what I was trying to do with it. Constants are, by their nature, static, and they can be used throughout your code, throughout the class that they are declared within. You can make them public and refer to them outside of the class, but either way, you don't need an instance of an object um, in order to go ahead and access a constant. Uh, constants actually, at compile time, do not remain as variables um, in your code. 
uh, any place where you've gone ahead and you've placed a constant keyword, uh, variable rather, it will go ahead and actually replace during compile time every single location that it sees that constant's name with the actual value. Which is why constants cannot be referenced, uh, they cannot be uh, referenced and they cannot be treated as L values. Okay? Uh, and the big thing here to know is that they cannot be passed by reference. They are literals, they are replaced in your code. Now, to see an example of constants here, let me go ahead and place this. You can see here that I've still got my declared constant at the top, uh, const int, my constant equals 3. And then throughout my code, I'm able to go ahead and just refer to my constant, just like you could with a static variable. Um, and again, when the code compiles, it's actually going to go through and replace every place that you see the word my constant with the literal value of the constant. And it can do that because it's immutable. It's not going to change. It can't change. The compiler knows it doesn't have to worry about my constant being a different value in the future. It can only be the one that it has declared uh, or that is initialized with. Now, here's an example of why it's useful to use constants. I have a constant and I've set it to three. And I know that when I run this application, I want it to take whatever value I've put in here to these methods that I've passed as the parameter and just evaluate them with my constant. Uh, tomorrow somebody says, well, actually what we need this program to do is to use 23. Okay, I just changed that there, recompile, and ta-da, it's done. I don't have to go through and replace these uh, variables. Now, this is similar to other variables, to static variables, to um, other ways that you can use pretty much any form of a variable. Uh, constants, this is just one of the things that they can do that is similar to other variables except for the fact that they are immutable and how they're treated when they're compiled. Um, for the most part, you're going to be able to have all the same things as I already said about public, private, protected, internal, um, with constants. You just have to understand that they are treated as if they were static. They are treated as literals when your code is compiled um, and they are immutable. Uh, that about sums it up. Thank you very much.